What's up guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Dungeon Girls Episode 3, Second Season. Or you could call it Don Machi's Second Season on Episode 3. Or is it wrong to pick up Girls in the Dungeon Second Season on Episode 3? Yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of titles in here, but... <laughs> I'm not gonna say that big, long Japanese title <laughs> because... It, it's a tongue twister for me. <laughs> it's much more easier when I fight... A easier and short version. Don Machi's second season. Anyways, this episode right here looks really simple. I can't expect much to give a lot of recap on, depending on how much detail I want to give. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We had to it that, um... What should we call it? Think, think. That Hestia is planning to rescue Lily from the Soma family. While Lily is trying to want to leave the Soma family... The leader of the Soma family, Soma himself, is not listening to anyone. All he is is doing is making alcohol and his second in command or vice captain is pretty much manipulating the situation where he's having his own evil worldly desires or pleasures to give him life whatsoever. As for Bell, he is training with Ice and Tione, I think, or Tiona, I don't know. Don't remember the net. <laughs> All I know is it's like, um, Bell is, Bell Crano, Crano is training to his best of his ability for the upcoming war game. Aside from that, um, Hestia does come to the meeting with Apollo, and Apollo laid out his conditions. If he wins, he gets Bell Crano. And of course, like, um, Hestia says, what if we win? And Apollo says, anything you want to say, we'll accept the condition. Anyways, um... We see to it that eventually as the episode continues on, the the game in the war game is going to be called Siege, which is very, very bad for Hestia because this is where numbers have to count. Of course, Hermes wants to... Hermes would be the one choosing it out of a random pile and later on says, don't you think we should add some allies for Hestia? And Apollo disagrees while like... um. Um, Freya decides to manipulate the situation going, Hey, Apollo, are you really scared of allies on Hestia's side? Come on now, what's wrong with you? And we see to it that <laughs> Apollo is not scared, but he has one condition. They have to be people outside of Awario, Owa or outside of the Awario city, of course. Eventually, this becomes a tough cookie for Hestia because... Fighting certain people outside of Oario for allies for Hestia in the upcoming war game is not going to be as simple as it is. Aside from that, um, we see to it in, in, in later during, during the episode that Hestia, along with like a wealth, along with Mikoto and some other people, decides to help out Lily, who, want, who they want to rescue. Although Lily was very close to one to help out that evil guy from the Soma fam familia, she decides not to if they don't want, if they don't meet her conditions. Eventually, Lily will given be given the keys to escape due to the guy says he hates the guy or he, he he dislikes him so much. So whatever you do is up to you. We see to it that Lily tries to talk to someone one more time and ask him to stop this fight. Please, they're very important people to me. Eventually, Soma says, "I ain't gonna listen to you. All right, you drink drink this thing." And if you overcome this, I will listen to what you have to say. Eventually, Lily had no choice but to drink that divine water where people loved it and they would want more and more and more and more and more, you know? But eventually, um, because of her care and love for Belcrano, she overcame the side effect and asked Soma, please stop this fighting, you know? And that guy, who's that vice commander, was trying to tell Soma not to listen to her. Soma told the guy to shut up or I'll, or I'll cut your tongue. Well, he's not going to cut his tongue, but he literally told the guy to shut up, you know? He stops the fighting, and later on, Lily was given a chance to, like, um, change familias. Where she decides to go to the Hestia familia side and leads to Soma familia for good. Which is a good thing, and of course, Hestia decides to save Lily because this person is important to Bell Cr to Bell to Bell Crano due to the fact that um he can't he may not be able to focus 
100% if Lily's not safe and around, you know, that kind of thing. Because he knows what happened to her. Eventually, you know, um, we see to it that Mikoto asked her leader that if she could leave to go help out the Hestia Familia in the upcoming war game. And of course, this goes with Ralph asking Hephaestus to let him leave and go with the Hestia family. Although she is reluctant to do so by saying, you think I'm going to allow that? He goes like, no, but... I still want to do it. Hephaestus even asks Welf, Do you understand, like, um, how you're gonna make a weapon that's more better than magic swords? He, Welf, brings up the lesson by saying, As long as I have that burning passion, right? I should be able to make any weapons anywhere. And Hephaestus even asks another question, What are you doing this for? And Welf says, For my friends, etc. And we go to a scene with Hermes asking Ryu, the elf girl, which we all know that she's really strong, to help out because she is one of the conditions required outside of a Wario to actually help out in the upcoming war game. Although, like, um, her friend tries to convince her too, Ryu's like, oh man, freaking Mama Mia's gonna freaking kick my butt again or freaking be angry. The episode ends up with Bell Crano still training with Tione or Tiona and Ice. And we see to it that Ice gives Belle a couple lessons, like, you have to watch out, understand this. Humans can actually predict your move and you have to be careful what you do. Because the moment you leave an opening or if you make your moves like way too predictable, you're, you're really bound to be defeated. But if your opponent attacks you, you gotta look for that certain opening and defeat them. Never forget these words, something that was taught to me. And Bell Crano takes this to heart and gets ready and later on the episode ends off like um ends off with Bell Crano nodding, knowing that he will be prepared for what's what's to come. And that's about it. Anyways, pretty simple episode, although it was a rescue mission for Lily throughout maybe the thirty-five percent of the episode and then trying to figure out the conditions for the war game and then like of Hestia trying to save Lily and Bell Crano training to the training his butt off, and Bell Crano about to grab some allies such as Mikoto, Welf, and then Ryu, you know, that kind of thing. This is gonna be interesting, this is gonna be an interesting war game, hopefully it'll be entertaining, I mean like, um, hopefully. Guess we'll have to find out. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video, I'm Alpha Zero, people, have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, right? Peace out, bye bye. Toot toot!